can, can we take just one second, Justin? Because I think you and I are on the same page on this. Uh, the obvious thing that most people watching this hear when they hear a problem like this is, well, why don't you just spend the Diamond Club money on it? And the problem is, once you go down that rabbit hole, it never ends, right? There's always, uh, we can't do that because none of us will continue to be friends. If we, like we out of ourselves don't plan to 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 deposit any of the money for the account. It's all for for the party. It's all for chat realm. Out of our own pockets, we'll be happy to give money to Gigaloop. Out of our own pockets, we did donate to Crash Kincaid's house, but we yeah. don't want to get caught in one of those. I'm sorry, I'm going to win the belt. One of those fucked up traps where you cease to be friends because you think there's a thing that's available to everyone. It's like, I would much rather pay money out of pocket. I'd much rather not keep a dime of any of the Diamond Club money if it means that all of us are on the same page and we all do our own thing here. I mean, I've, I've made no secret whenever talking about it that I think that that Diamond Club money is haunted and I want it out of my life as soon as possible because it, it brings me great, great, great anxiety. And this is part of the reason why, because I never want... Uh, you know, I, I don't want a stagnant pile of money to come between, uh, I, I don't ever want to say no to the chat realm. I mean, like when, when I say no, I want it right. to be in full in, in, you know, I want to be able to explain it and I want it to, you know, be able to, and I don't think now that I think that's impossible with the money. It's just harder with the money. Yes. And, and it's, it's just more messed it's, up. It's more effed up with the money, you know? Yeah. So it's like, you know, for where we're going, you know, we're, we're, we're going to make sure that a lot of really cool things happen at Dragon Con, and we're going to spend the money on that. And literally, the only thing that you could even consider to be a personal benefit to me and Brian is we are we are uh, going to be in a hotel room uh, that will wait, be paid wait, for with Diamond wait. Club money, and it will be spent. It will be it'll be it's filled a flop house. With I mean, it's it's like people. it's yeah. We legitimately are cramming seven people. Uh, it'll be, it'll be me. It'll be John. It'll be Justin, Justin's platonic friend. I forget her name. Uh, Alex Bagnola, OMG Chad and who, and, and a couple other people just literally sleeping on the floor as destitute hobos that that's the magic that this money has made possible is that we're able to sleep on a floor near dragon con. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's it's one of those things where I just I never I never want I never want it to be about saying no to to chat realm and and I want to make everything happen and I always want that to to be you know a you know to be a fun thing I just don't want I don't want this to get in the way of it and uh, that's why you know it, it it kills me and the reason why I feel uncomfortable with it is because I can see where people would be like. Well, you have money. Do something with the money, and uh, you know I, I can I can understand that. I can see where that is coming from, and that's well, why and, and I'm very like, I'm like, very anxious about it. If we if we kept any of the money, then uh, then yeah, they would have a right to say, well, no, 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 I helped make that money possible. I perceive an ownership of it. And and so that's why that's why like the goal that we have is what is the most epic way we could Brewster's millions this away in something that gives something back to everybody. And uh, the things that the money has made possible is number one, it's made a floor, literal floor for us to sleep on at Dragon Con. Number two, it's made the secret party possible, which we just signed a contract for today, which we're very excited about. Number yeah, three. Uh, number one, you have, me and Brian were talking about this. And I was, I, I asked Brian, you know, like what his level of excitement was. And it just, it's only because we are going through the the details before this that i think this is the most tense i know that i think me and brian have ever been looking forward to dragon con beforehand where normally it's just like vacation party we get to you you know like and like me and brian have this kind of this tradition for which i take very seriously and look forward to all year where basically we just kind of stay drunk all day we start drinking as soon as we wake up and that's just actually, kind of that's not even a lie. throughout the entire thing it's it's a beautiful moment uh, it's always, it's been my favorite time of the year for the last two years. Um, you know, and it's only because we have so much to do this time and we are doing things we've never done before, uh, that it's, it's even more tense, but it's like, this is all just pounding energy into a ball 
so we can explode on Labor Day weekend. Yeah, you know, we hope so. Anyway, yeah, that's that's the plan. Uh, but but as far as like, you know, a, again, for people who are like, what do we get for our cash? We have all the things we talked about and also uh, T-shirts are made possible this year as well as other merchandise. We uh, last year we took a we took a loss on the uh, on the T-shirts and we we're happy to do that. There's something like we just think it's awesome that there are T-shirts out there uh, this year. If it were not for the Diamond Club, we would not have ponied up the upfront cash to even make T-shirts possible. But Way stoked about the designs. Way stoked about them this year, and uh, we got some extra goodies that are that are coming out as well. And yes, we will sell all of the excess that doesn't sell at DragonCon. We'll make available online exactly as we did before. And also, I mean, this is another one of those things where, like, we haven't ever done this before, um, but like, the money that we have, you know, allows us to do stuff. Like, if we do, let's say we sell, if it, if it is crazy pants McGirt, right? And we sell out every single stitch of clothing uh, for the Dragon Con things at Dragon Con. We got a little extra scratch now where we can, uh, you know, maybe do another run to sell only online. And that's not to say that we wouldn't do that. It's just to say that we have the freedom to do that. You know, we, we can now have an option to do a lot of really, really, really cool things to, again, make sure that we are saying yes to Chat Realm more than we are saying no to Chat Realm, which is the goal of, of kind of this grand experiment yeah, is, is it's been, Jerome's been very, very good for us. Absolutely. And as you can see for our new mascot, uh, married, married under underwear woman says, I'm so excited for dragon con. If only one of you gentlemen could give me a ride and some pants. 